Hello students, welcome to Teach You Smart. Let's continue our journey through Introduction to Graphs. Today, we are going to discuss a new topic, Linear Graph. We know, a line graph is a type of graph that displays information as a series of data points connected by straight line segments. It represents the change in one quantity with respect to another quantity. Let's see an example of a special type of line graph. Nithu took a cup of water and boiled it. She noted the first temperature at 5 o'clock. After that, she noted the temperature at every two minutes till the water gets boiled. The data is given in the table. Draw a graph using this data. Here, we represent time in hours on the x-axis and temperature in degrees Celsius on the y-axis. Let us assume that one unit on x-axis represents two minutes and one unit on y-axis represents 20 degrees Celsius. Now we can plot each point as per the given information. And then join the points. Thus we get a graph. Is it a line graph? Yes, of course. Because it displays information as a series of data points connected by straight line segments. Here, we get a straight line where all the data points lie on the straight line. Such graphs are called linear graphs. So, linear graphs are straight line graphs that represent the linear relationship between two quantities. Here, we can see that, as the time increases, the temperature also increases. That is, with the change in one quantity, there is change in another quantity. Here, the temperature increases linearly with time. Let's see another example. Draw a graph for the following data. Here we can see, the cost of oranges depends on the number of oranges. So, we can say, the cost of oranges is a dependent variable and the number of oranges is an independent variable. Let's take the independent variable, that is, the number of oranges along the x-axis and the dependent variable, cost of oranges along y-axis. And we take one unit on the x-axis which represents one orange and one unit on y-axis which represents four rupees. Now we can plot each point as per the given information. For one orange, the cost is four rupees. For two oranges, the cost is eight rupees. For three oranges, it is 12 rupees. For four oranges, it is 16 rupees. And for five oranges, it is 20 rupees. Thus, we get five points on the plane. And by joining them, we get a straight line. Hence, this is a linear graph. Here also, the two quantities that is, number of oranges and the cost of oranges have a relationship. As the number of oranges increases, the cost of oranges also increases. Or we can say that, the cost changes with respect to the number of oranges. That is, the cost of oranges increases linearly with the number of oranges. Now let's try to understand, what is the difference between a linear graph and a line graph? Here, first figure shows a linear graph, whereas the second figure shows a line graph. We can see that, both of them are made up of line segments, but there is a major difference between them. All the points in a linear graph lie on the same straight line, that is, the points are collinear. But in a line graph, 
The points may or may not lie on the same straight line. So, the points may or may not be collinear. In this linear graph, we have five points. Can you say the exact position of these points? Or how can we represent these points? Yes, we can represent each point as an ordered pair called coordinates. Coordinates are any set of numbers used in specifying the location of a point on a line or on a surface or in space. It consists of a pair of numbers in which the first number shows the perpendicular distance from the y-axis to the given point called the x-coordinate and the perpendicular distance from the x-axis to the given point is called y-coordinate. That is, the coordinates of a point is a pair of numbers that describe the position of a point on a Cartesian plane by using the perpendicular distances from the axis. Here we take each point as A, B, C, D, and E. When we consider point A and draw the perpendiculars to both axes, we get the x-coordinate as 1 and the y-coordinate as 4. Therefore, the coordinate of A is 1, 4. Similarly, we can write the coordinates of other points, that is, B, 2, 8, C, 3, 12, D, 4, 16, and E, 5, Let's recall what we discussed today. Linear graph and finding the exact position of each point in a linear graph. Before winding up, let's check how much you understood by doing an activity. When you recharge your mobile, the number of hours of talk time depends on the amount you have to pay, plot a graph from the following information. That's all for now. See you all in the next class.